Okay, so once we have our remote app installed on your iPhone or any other iDevice, um, what we need to do now is get that to pair with Fubar. And the way we do this is we trick the iPhone into thinking it's pairing with iTunes, uh, whereas obviously in reality we're pairing with our Fubar uh, program. So the first thing you want to do is go to this website here. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, windtents.com forward slash plugins forward slash foo underscore touch remote and you're just going to click this download here click that download and let it download to wherever you're going to save it we need to remember where it is we've saved it in a minute so once that is downloaded open up foobar go to file hit preferences and then at the top here we should be under the components tab and it'll tell you a list of all of our installed components here we want to go ahead and install one so we're going to click the install button and I've saved it to my <coughs> uh, desktop uh, as a dot zip you can simply click that and hit open it's going to say unknown please apply changes to load so we're just going to hit ok it's going to ask us to restart foobar that's fine okay so once it has loaded back up we can go back into file preferences and you can see here touch remote DACP server for FUBAR 2000 okay so now that's installed so what we can do from here is we can loop down the left hand side and we should have touch remote DACP server if we click that it's going to give us a bunch of options now I no longer have my iPad so I'm going to delete the selected device and I'm going to delete my phone just so we can set up as new so this is what you should have in front of you you can name this anything you want, I'm going to leave it as FUBAR2000 ignore these first two tabs, uh, the second two tabs for now what we're going to want to do is add a new device so as soon as we click add a new device it's going to say waiting for remote so now what we want to do is our, on our uh, app we're going to click add a device and here it's going to give us a passcode, a pair remote so 8358, I'm going to simply type that into uh, FUBAR 8358 and then we hit confirm you can see devices, it comes up with your name of your device so Joe's iPhone here because it's my iPhone uh, hit OK and then from here we can scroll through all of our songs and if I wanted to play uh, here you get to look at my vast and bizarre um, music collection if I just start playing this Okay, so I'm going to turn my speakers down on my PC, and you can hear it's that's on that's full volume, controlling the PC's volume there, but it's not coming through the iPhone. It's obviously playing as a remote on our Fubar. So that's how we control Fubar from any i device. Let me just mute this. Mute that. Um, like I say, you can do it from iPhone. You can do it from an iPad. I'm not entirely sure, I don't think you can do it from a laptop just yet um, but obviously this is only useful really if you're, uh, you've are you got a media center set up or you've got a computer set up whereby it's playing music on loudspeakers and you don't want to keep going back to the computer to change track you can just do it from your iPhone or your iPad from anywhere in the house because it's running through the Wi-Fi connection thanks for watching, if this helped give it a like, give it a comment if you're struggling, uh, leave a comment as well I'll try my best to help you out Thanks for watching.